What's up, everybody? Brett Okamoto from ESPN, and I'm joined today by Maria Agapova, who fights uh, this weekend at UFC Fight Night here in Las Vegas, and I'm catching her right before she uh, she takes off in the morning. So right now you are uh, you live in Miami, yeah, Maria? Yes, yeah, Miami area. Okay, it lo looks like you got your own house there. Is uh, you got you got roommates, or are you on your own? What's your living situation? And yeah, in I, I have I have roommates. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, the reason, uh, the reason I wanted to talk to you before this fight is uh, when I look at this card this weekend, I think you're one of the most exciting fighters on there. And that's because of your last fight. I think uh, myself and, and other fighters were just really impressed with what you did in your last fight. It was exciting. Uh, you looked great against Hannah Cyphers and uh, yeah. kind of wanted to, to get to know a little bit more about you. Can you tell me... Um, sort of just a little bit of, about your life? I mean, how did you get into mixed martial arts? Where you come from? Um, just just let us get to know you a little bit. Mm, I come from boxing. I was amateur boxer. Seven years I do amateur boxing, but they never give me a chance. And I just tell like, fuck them and go to MMA. It's all what I do. And now I'm in MMA already four years. I already get UFC. Everything nice and sweet, but it was hard. Huh. So it was not easy. What, what do you mean <laughs> that they didn't give you a chance? Like you just couldn't get the fights you wanted? Or what do you mean by that? Mm, just uh, they support the Nazi girls. Like uh, this sport full of corruption, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, just, so how many years did you... Fights. How many years were you an amateur boxer? Seven years. Seven. I was about five years in national team. They just using me for camping. That's it. They always bring me to camp for another girls. Oh. I beat them up and they just bring them for champion world, Olympic game everywhere. And me, for me, they never give me chance. They just using me for camps. That's it. Wow. And after, I mean... Yeah, after a lot of years, I just was done with this and moved to MMA. Huh. Why, why do you think it took... Uh... Why didn't you do it sooner? Like, why did it take seven years for you to transition to mixed martial arts? No, oh, I was a child. I started doing when I was 13. Already when I was 16, when guys my, my age, they learning in school, I already have fun, everything, I have money. It was nice. But after I growing up, in already in 19, this money was not enough. It was money for real. Mm. I deserve more. It's because I moved. Can you give me an idea? Like, what, what, what kind of money were you making as a boxer? And, and as a... Ah, it's just what's paying for months. Like, I'm from, like, it's less than 100 every month. Like, I'm from very poor country. Like, and uh, dollar here, our money here. Like, <laughs> passing. Ah. But yeah. I was child. When I was child, it was nice because I learned it in school. But now... I need more money. I deserve more because I can't show more. I can I can give people more. They just not giving me chance, and hmm. I get another way how to get success. <laughs> yeah. So when you decided to change into mixed martial arts, were there were there a lot of MMA gyms in Kazakhstan? Like, where did you get training? No, it was only one gym in my city. That's it. We really don't have a lot of MMA gyms. Huh. Just I was done with this boxing. Done with this. I won't change my life. I don't want to live like this. Like it's already was too much, like seven years and nothing changed. Like mm -hmm. they just using me. I was done. I was ready to move anyway, just far from the <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> It's over <laughs> when they give me chance to show myself. <laughs> Did you, were you even making enough money like, like to live on your own and like feed yourself? Oh, or? no. I was living with my mom. It's only, I, I moved in America one year ago. Only one year I lived without my mom. Later, I was living with my mom. She pay everything. I, I was don't care. It just was my money, like, for me. Mm. But now I'm adult. <laughs> I pay for everything, pay for rent, everything. I pay so, for myself now. So tell me about that uh, that, that, that first, like, few weeks or months when you started training mixed martial arts what was the training like there in Kazakhstan and how were, were you good at it immediately I mean with the ground game like what, what was that like trying tr tr making a change from boxing oh it was hard because in boxing you only do this movement and hands but in martial, 
in martial arts you're supposed to use your hands you're supposed to grapple wrestling and it's hard you're supposed to always mix it and all your body getting tired yeah first couple of weeks i was pretty bad but after i get experience and getting better and better mm. especially How? my ground game was very bad when i only moving because i'm it was good only in striking, but when girls put me on the ground, I was bad, pretty mm. bad. I learned how to do it well. Now I do it pretty well. <laughs> when 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 was this? When did you make this change from boxing to MMA? Uh, four years ago. Okay, so four years ago, and then you were on the contender last year, right? Yeah, yeah. How did you get? How did you get an opportunity to fight on the contender series? After oh, it's my, such a short amount of time. my managers. Like I meet with my managers, Alexei Lamashov, mm-hmm. Alexander Lamashov, Alexei Zhernakov, Alex Davids. It's three of my managers and they make a team and they sign me to Dana White Contenders. Yeah, and, and I was talking to Alex and he said that uh, he brought you to Florida just, what, two weeks before that fight on Contender Series? Yeah, yeah, it was like this. Uh, I was in camp on my city after I get very hard flying because it was another side of earth. Like I t- two days I was in my way. Like I go first in Moscow, after Frankfurt, after Miami. Oh, it was so, so bad. <laughs> and after I move in here only two weeks and I go to so serious fight. I even don't know how could weight correct, how training correct. Because huh. where I am from, it's really not not nice place for you Wait, not nice place that? for living very nice people but for living for living it's this place not good uh, do, you, do you mind telling me why like when you say it's not a good place to live why oh bad ecology because i live in very dirty city we have a lot of corporation and it's mad ecology a lot of people have cancer uh, like uh, no opportunity to get food sometimes because in summer we don't have uh, only in summer we have fruits but in winter no oh. like it's done and no good medicine no good education like and everything going worse and worse in my country uh, so when you came over to the united states and, and you you land in florida and you know that you're going to go to las vegas to fight for a chance to get in the ufc in two weeks and you've been fighting for 10 years, but you haven't had many opportunities like this. What was what was that like to, to come over here and try to, to get a contract with the UFC? Oh, it, it was it was just, I, I don't believe in this first time. It's, and it's because, I guess it's because I lost, because I was so nervous. I just can't believe that it happens with me. I'm from so, so far place and uh, go, get to UFC, I was really worried. But now, after my Dana White contenders fight, I stay in there. Mm-hmm. I work for myself. Now, I'm really nice. I really used to be in, <laughs> in America. <laughs> and now, how I'm doing here. After you went to the contender series and you lost to Tracy, yeah. did you feel like, no, no problem, I'll be back here? Or, or did you think that that, that was like, a, was that, pretty, um, was that pretty, pretty tough to get over? Oh, for me, I just uh, lost for three points, only three points. Just I was like this and uh, I lost it. And I just uh, want to play back, you know. Mm-hmm. It was like casino. I never play casino, but in Vegas, it was like this. I just <laughs> lost and I want to play back. Mm-hmm. And so after, went back. Oh, after next month, I already fight in Invicta. After next month, do one more fight. After I get a lot of... <laughs> and after I go into UFC, they yeah. sign. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, another thing Alex has told me is that uh, you coming from Kazakhstan to Florida, it's just, yeah. it's like a different planet, right? Yeah, it's a different planet. And here, very, a lot of technologies that I never saw in my country, like this dishwasher, like dryer machine, a lot of things that I even never saw, like. It's kind of nanotechnology for me. I yeah. still not use it. Though sometimes I still I see weird things that I never saw, like this bicycle or scooters. Like it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you you enjoying it? Do you ever miss home, or you love being here? No, oh, I miss only my friends. But this country, no, I not miss my country. <laughs> only my friends, people there, people so nice. Because it's life in my country very tough and people understand that they don't have nobody, only themselves. Mm-hmm. 
only I... people support each other. No one that supports like uh. so tough lives. Do you, uh, what, what did your mom do over there? What was her job? Uh, she, she worked in, in office. In an office? With papers, everything. Okay. Any of the, um, the money that you make in your career? Like, do you want to send any of it back or do you want to bring anybody over here or, or you focused on yourself and your own situation in Florida? Mm, now I, I just want to make my situation in Florida stability. But now I have money. I send my family. They were very glad because now I get a bunch of, not, not really a bunch of money, but pr pretty good money. I get pretty good money in the UFC. And my mother works. She work on 400 and months. And uh, she, she will be glad when I send her a little bit. Like she was very grateful to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finally I can pay her back <laughs> because all childhood I was little pain in the ass. <laughs> oh yeah what did you do you, did you misbehave oh I, I i always have problems with my aggression i always destroy things oh, yeah. in the house and uh, yeah in school i always fighting and she has problem about it she always was called in school and she have a lot of problems with me but now i growing up and i can pay her back everything that she suffered that she suffered about me <laughs> Why, why do you think, uh, why do you think you've always been a fighter, even since a little kid? Why, why do you like to fight? Oh, it's just, uh, everybody f***ing with me. Just everybody f***ing with me. I go on street, bad guys won't bring my coke or something, bicycle, they won't take it from me. I go in there, these guys won't beat my ass. I go in there and I always watch action movie when people fighting and I want to be like these badass guys. I don't want that somebody bullying me or steal my things like with me. I don't like it. And I always want to go and fight. And when I was six, I told my mom, bring me to karate, but it was stupid. Like it was, kia, kia. Mm. It was stupid for child, for child. Like I don't like it. And when I was nine, I go into kickboxing and yeah, we start doing real spar. But after my father died, I go to depression for one year. And after I come back and start doing boxing, like I do boxing only two years. And after two years, they already started paying me for this. And I was only 16 <laughs> when I start uh, get my money for my fightings. Do you mind if I ask what, what happened to your father? Did, was, it, was he sick or did something unexpected happen? Oh, uh, I... I, I don't know. I just get him purple in his bedroom. That's it. Nobody don't know what's happened with him. Hmm. Hmm. Well, another thing that Alex told me about is it just it shows just how different the cultures are. Not only, you know, the dishwashers and the, uh, you know, the laundry and all that. But he said one of the first times you came to the gym, you hurt your ankle. And then, and then when you went to his house, you called uh, someone back home in Kazakhstan on FaceTime and you were actually a bloodletting. You were cutting into your ankle and, and let it, letting like bad blood yeah. out of it. It's, it's because yes, uh, we have, I already told that we have bad medicine in my country. And last time I used it to b blood, like you take it off bad blood and mm -hmm. it was really helping me. And yeah, when I come into America, I really don't realize that here, best medicine in the world. I just using my old things from my country. <laughs> like, uh, so is there still things? Is, are there still things like that, or you feel like you're uh, you feel like you're becoming more and more used to the United States every day? Oh yeah, I becoming more and more. I learn language every day because when I only come into America, you can watch my interview like last year on Dana White Contenders. I even can talk on English. I even can talk. Mm -hmm. Like I talk on Russian and they translate it. I even can talk on language. Yeah. Now you see, I, I talk pretty well, right? Yeah. <laughs> only <Yeah>. one year. <laughs> Amazingly well after one year. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's funny. I remember uh, when you fought on the Contender Series, one thing that Dana White said is that he's like, I looked at her and uh, she reminded me of Joanna Young Jacek. And now yeah. you know Joanna Young Jacek. You've actually uh, been in the gym with her, right? I mean, have you guys have you guys trained with one another, you and Joanna? Yeah, we're training, uh, but uh, not recently, but we're training. Mm -hmm. how, how, do those, how, do those, how do those go? Because she's been a champion. Uh, did you learn a lot from her? And do you feel like you could, like, that's got to be a good uh, way for you to sort of see where you're at, right? 
Yeah, it was a very nice experience. She very tough opponent. It was very nice spar. I like I like work with best girls. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your style of fighting? Oh, I don't know about my style. <laughs> like I just feel fights. All my fights, it's always different. But this was this one was like this. Like I never think what I will do in my fight. Like I just come in and watch. Mm -hmm. Like and I see like wh when she open, like I see moments and you're supposed to just catch moments. Sometimes you have plan, but this plan sometimes cannot work. You're supposed to always realize like mm -hmm. in the now moment. You're supposed to catch moments. It's a yeah. good time <laughs> and everything going good. What uh, like are you are you the type of person that you want to be a champion in this sport? You want to be like the best to ever do it? Like are those your goals, or are you just enjoy doing it and you're making money now doing it? Like what are your what are your goals in this sport? Of course, I want to be champion, like best of the best. But I think it takes time. It's not tomorrow. Like it takes time. After a couple of years, I will be going on top. I will be fight with best of the best girls mm -hmm. and make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I wanna, if I wanna, yeah, I wanna get belt, get belt. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll let you get going. Cause, my cause belt. I, I'll let you get going soon because I know that you got to pack and then you got to you got to fly to Vegas in the morning. But uh, yeah. I do want to ask you, um, you won fifty thousand dollars in your last fight. What yeah. was that? What was that like? Like, did you get a did you get a check for fifty thousand, or does it just show up in your in your bank account or something? Like, what was that like when you got fifty fifty thousand dollars? It's just show up in my bank account without fifteen thousand dollars because it's still government. Welcome to America. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's still pretty nice money. I like. I like. Yeah. I I never hold so so big money like this. Like it's crazy. It's I know. Crazy I... for everybody. Every my family in shock. Like it's crazy money, <laughs> especially for people in my country. For me too crazy <laughs> and i know that i can do more like it's, it's nice <laughs> like game uh, sure. yeah it's got to be a good feeling you know when you what, did you want to spend it right away like like did it feel real to you mm, i really don't know like i spend it for, for what i need for my needs like i just want a good life like, i want to get licensed car like nice life let's see that's all what i want yeah i don't want to spend it for just for good life. <laughs> yeah. Well, Alex said that uh, they want to get you a car, but he's worried that you'll wreck it. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> just I'm crazy, and the one time I drive scooter, and yeah, I drive like crazy. But I, I will try driving normal. I will try. <laughs> I will work for it. Driving normal. <laughs> <laughs> slow, slow, and uh, obey the signs, right? Slow, nice, and smooth. <laughs> stop and green is that's when you that's when you can go right yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> well hey thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us it was a real pleasure and uh have a safe flight to vegas and we'll we'll see you out here good luck in your fight yeah thank you so much nice to talk to you thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus